Hi everyone and welcome to another TV for Education training session. Today we're going to be having a look at one of our newest features and that is student view. So this view here of TV for Education that we always point you to, this is what's available to you as a teacher. Now if you save any videos, they will be saved to your items as well as the school's collection. My items will have anything specifically that you have saved just for you and the teacher next to you will just have their saved items in their area. So that's your personal saved videos. Now when you're adding videos, they will also go to my school's collection. That way your school will be building a database of videos um, that can be made available to other teachers at the school as well as students. Now most schools will have it set up that anything added to my school's collection by the teachers will be set at staff level only. And then if you want those videos to be shared with students, you can share them by using a link. So when you're on the video itself, clicking the share button. Or if you want the students to be able to browse through my school's collection, you need to change the security level on the videos. So we will be having a little look at how you can do that in a separate video. But I just wanted to explain the different areas. Now, if you wanted the students to be able to search everything on TV for Education, they can now go to Student View. So if we click on the menu, click Search, and then TV for Education for Student, this will now bring us to the student's version of TV for Ed. As you can see, it's a slightly different layout. It's just meant to be simpler for the students to view. Now, keeping in mind that security is a big concern when using TV for Education. So while I'm saying they'll be able to view everything on TV for Ed, so not, think, not just things that have been selected by teachers, it's still going to be restricted by their security level. So that means if they are a Year 7 student and you have decided that Year 7s will only be allowed to watch G-rated programs, when they run a search in here, it's only going to show them G-rated things and below. Same thing for you, 10 student. If you've decided that they're able to see M15+, plus, then as soon as they log in, any searches they do will show them anything for that rating and below. Now, in terms of how things will show, it won't even show them that there are videos available above that rating. So if they are a Year 7 student and they are looking for the movie Romeo and Juliet, because that movie is rated M15+, plus, that won't appear on the system and they would have to ask their teacher to get access to it. We've done that as a security um, protocol so that there's no way that the students will be able to see anything that's inappropriate for them. Now, when they come to TV for Education, by default, it's going to have smart search which is our keyword search so anything they put in here um, so same example Romeo and Juliet it's going to search for keywords so any programs that apply to that search so this one that's come up that is an episode that's based on Romeo and Juliet and you'll find that in the description of all these programs, it does mention Romeo and Juliet as well. Now, as you can see, I currently have G rating only as my security level. Now, because I'm in student view, I can't go and change that security rating. That has to be done by an admin. So I can't mistakenly go in here and change the settings so that I can view more programs. It's only going to show me what's available for G. Now, if I'm looking at programs for literature, let's just clear that Romeo and Juliet search. It's going to show me more programs that are available on the system. So if I've gone to look for Romeo and Juliet, it didn't have it there. It's going to show me what else is available for G. Now, of course, if I was after a specific program, I can always click on title or subject or series if I had a specific term that I was looking for. Now, on the left-hand side, I also have a clickable subject list. 
So again, if I'm looking for English topics, I can click on that. If I'm looking for films, I can click on that. So no matter what I'm looking for, I can go through here. Anything that has a plus next to it means that it has additional subjects in that area. So if we click on films, it's going to show me all the different areas in here that I can have a look at. If I click on science, it's going to show me what's available there. Now, if I found a program that I'm interested in, I can just click to play the program. And if it's a program that I want to save as the student, all I have to do is click the star. As you can see, it's instantly added to my items. Now, if I click on my items, that's going to show me all the saved programs that I have. Now, a couple of reasons why you would encourage your students to use the student view is to encourage them to research their lessons in a safe place. By using TV for education, you can know that the stuff that they're getting on here is educational and it's encouraging them to actually go and research things. So if they are going ahead of the class in a certain lesson, they will be able to research additional um, resources to help them further understand the topic. If they're a student that is struggling in a lesson, again, they can find something that helps them understand the lesson in their own way. Now, if student view is something that you want to get activated at your school, it's very easy to get up and running. Definitely just send us an email at support at functionalsolutions.com.au or you can use your mailbox system to get it up and going. We will check that we have all the details that we need for your students and then we will just send them a notification that it is available for them to use. Keeping in mind as well that this is a resource that your students can use for home. So even if there is a lockdown like there is in New South Wales, school can, till, can still continue on. Um, they can still go on researching their lessons. They can have lessons built by your teachers very easily through TV for Education. Again, if that's something you're interested in doing, have a look at our YouTube videos. We've got tutorials on that and we look forward to seeing you in our other sessions.